We left off with a running motorcycle and we're back. Today we're going to talk about the friction zone and that is we're going to put it into first gear and start to get a feel for the friction point where the bike starts moving forward. And this is going to be the easiest way to learn how to release the clutch without stalling the bike. Trust me, you will stall the bike, get over it. Yes, it's kind of annoying at first, you're going to, you're going to stall for like the first few days, hopefully maybe over a week you'll be over it. but. Uh, for me, it was about a week of just learning how to be smooth and quick on it, but you're giving it throttle while releasing. We'll talk all about that. Anyway, let's get started. We got the bike running as usual. If you don't know how to start a bike, go back to the previous video in the series. So we're gonna squeeze on our clutch. I also like to hold my front brake. Make sure you're not gripping in your throttle at any given way. It should be really, really loose on your grips here. And your left control peg here, that's gonna be your shift. Press down. On some bikes, you might get a uh, indicator for gears. I do not, it just goes out of neutral. Once you're in first, put your foot down and balance the bike. Release your front brake and slowly, without even giving it throttle, release the clutch. Learn where the bike starts lunging forward. The engine will sort of slow down in ripples, as I like to call them, because it's sort of getting more load on it. And if you do this fast enough, you're just gonna stall it. And I'm sure you'll do that as first too. Normally halfway point on this being out is exactly where you get that friction zone. So it's about here when we're on neutral, and then the rest of the way out is pretty much where we start moving. Now you can adjust these, you got multiple adjustments. If you have levers, I have an adjustment. You can see how far in or out this goes. Mine sort of is towards the midway point. There's a little bit more to go at the very end where it's fully engaged. It's just sort of personal preference, but most of your motorcycles are gonna have that friction zone right dead center. So get a feel for it. Go back into neutral. The best place to actually learn and practice this is in a parking lot or if you got a big open area. Like notice this, we're in a somewhat graded, but it's graded down to the side. And the reason why I'm on a flat slope in terms of going forward here is we're going to show you guys how to get rolling without even using the throttle. And this will teach you guys how to be smooth on that clutch without stalling. It's very important and trust me, it'll give you a better riding experience. So now that we're in gear here, you're just going to slowly let out that friction zone, walk the bike, and bring our feet up on the pegs. I'm not giving it any throttle at all. I got the hand off the clutch and we are rolling forward. Pay attention to where you wanna go, attention to your surroundings, pull in your clutch, and slowly, your front brake, your back brake, carefully, don't jab at anything. And at the same time, put your foot down on the ground when you're just about to stop. It'll allow your, your bike to fall over towards the left and it'll get you on the side. I'll do it one more time. Just to demonstrate, I don't need anything here. This doesn't twist at all. So I'm gonna keep my hand there just for stability. Slowly let out the clutch, walk the bike a few steps. Let that clutch out the entire way. No throttle, no nothing, we're just rolling. Now, of course, you want to stay in a straight line because going at four miles an hour when you try to turn, you're not going to get very stable. Bring in your clutch, apply both brakes. Foot down on the left, catch the bike. It's all sort of a balancing game. Let's take it a step a little bit further. Once you've released the clutch and you're not stalling it, you're going to have to do two things at once. And this will allow you to get up to speed a little bit faster so you're not <laughs> holding up traffic. And don't worry about traffic, by the way, guys. Yes, there's gonna be people behind you when you start getting on the road. Don't worry about them. Don't get stressed out because that's only gonna allow you to stall the bike easier when you're thinking about everything else behind you. Think about what you're doing, take your time, don't rush. Now, the next step is going to be get a little bit of throttle, not much. I'd say two to three rip-ums, three at most, you know, three grand. And then at the same time, you're gonna release the clutch. So release the clutch and give it throttle. And slowly release on that. And you can even stay on the throttle a little bit more and notice how fast we're going. And at that point, you'll be able to be really, really straight. Make sure you slow down and stop. Always pulling in your clutch whenever you're about to release that throttle. It's a it's a balance game of this here and that there. And it's the same exact opposite. You pull in while you're releasing. It's, it's a 
it's a synchronized game, but it becomes second nature. So just practice it. Practice makes everything perfect. That said, I'm gonna stick it back in neutral to shut off the bike once you're in neutral. Hit this kill switch and you're good. In the next video, guys, we're gonna go into second gear, switching gears, and then maybe a video after that will go into turns and basic turning. But if you guys enjoy this, fist bump that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button if you're looking for future content like this. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, leave them for me, Sonic Moto, in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm out of here. See you then.